everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. That title is not clickbait. I literally made over a hundred bars in one batch. It was very daunting. It was a bit of a struggle and those soap buckets weighed a lot, but somehow I did it. I also included some footage today of me splitting the soap loaves. And this just seems like the type of thing a lot of you guys would find like really satisfying to see like nice even bars. So I put some of that footage in there today. If you aren't following me on Instagram, well, you should because I post pretty pictures sometimes. I also would just like to say that it cracks me up when I look through the comments section and then there's like 50 comments in there about people telling me who my voice sounds like. A lot of people say Steven's Universe, like characters from there. I've never even seen Steven's Universe. Like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> If I had to guess, that sounds like a Cartoon Network or maybe like Nickelodeon show. I don't know, but I know that people tell me that I sound like that all the time. People also tell me I sound like Graveyard Girl. There is a reason for that. I am from Texas. She is from Texas. That is probably the only reason. Because Texas is a giant state and we literally live like five hours away from each other. But yeah, every single time that like cracks me up <laughs> reading those comments. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. If you guys like seeing me do slab molds, be sure to let me know down in the comments below because it's a little bit different from doing the high top soaps because the high top soaps are poured in sort of those long skinny molds. It's just a different kind of method of pouring. You can see a lot bigger of a space at a time. Um, it just kind of requires different skills almost to do that. So if you're enjoying the slab mold videos, let me know in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get soap making. This soap is going to be made in two parts. So the first part is sort of the base color soap. So I have Ye old Neon Purple from TKB already in the oil, so I'm gonna blend that up. And then I have some titanium dioxide in the lye water, so I'm gonna blend that up as well. Uh, both have been blended, so I'm going to pour the lye water solution into this uh, gigantic bucket of oils. Get out of there. So now I'll stick blend on low until probably about medium trace because the black raspberry vanilla fragrance oil that I'm using really slows things down. is completely blended up. Man, that purple is so awesome. Now I'm going to add the black raspberry vanilla. You can get this fragrance oil absolutely anywhere. I personally don't really prefer the one from Wholesale Supplies Plus, but I really like the one from Nurture Soap and Nature's Garden Candles. I'm gonna stick blend this in. The fragrance oil is completely incorporated, so it's time to pour the bottom half of the Berry Delicious soaps into the molds. I have my two giant slab molds lined with freezer paper so it's time to pour. I'm going to begin slowly into this left container. I'm pouring little bits at a time. It's a lot easier to pour more soap into the containers than it is to take any out. I have almost the exact same amount of soap in each mold so now I'm going to scrapey scrapey my container and we'll move on to the mica line. For the mica line I am using 24 karat gold from TKB Trading. It's almost exactly the same as shimmer gold from Nurture Soap if you have that one on hand. I've added half a tablespoon to my little tea strainer so I'm going to begin here in the side of the left hand slab and I'm going to make sure that everything is completely covered in gold. I don't want any open spots. It's going to be a very very heavy mica line. Here's 
one loaf done. Now I'm going to do the other. And once I've completed both of them, I'm going to wipe down the sides of the mold here because I don't want that glitter messing up the design. I've sectioned off the second batch. And in this container, I have purple vibrant mica. In this container, I have cosmic Carolyn mica. And in this container, I have some more of the ye old neon purple from TKB and just a smidge of Persian rose mineral glitter. And then in the big container, I have titanium dioxide. The first step for this layer is for me to blend up these colors. are completely blended so it's time for me to add in the fragrance oil. I asked Caleb's opinion about what design I should do and he said marbling and I think he's right so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm going to begin by pouring some little dollops of this light purple, about five actually. Then in some different spots, I'm gonna pour in some pink. And then the purple, I'm just gonna pour in like this. Got in almost all the purple. Gonna pour in some more of the pink. Light purple, excuse me. <laughs> and now some more pink back and forth. I am going to scrape my containers into the corners. Now this bucket is way too big for me to pour all by myself. So I'm gonna pour a little bit into this container here. It's gonna swirl it. And then I'm gonna pour it onto the slabs. We'll begin with the slab on the left. I'm going to attempt to just pour this right across the top. Most of the colors are still pretty separate. going to gently bounce the top here just to make sure that it's all evenly distributed. Now let's pour the second one straight out of the bucket. We'll see which one we like better. Oh, this is a tedious task. I'm just going to pour. Oh, I smashed that little bit there. Oh, that's killing me. Just going to pour in like this. I've let the bottom set up really well, so it should be just fine. Now I'm gonna spread the soap out a little bit. I am gonna tap these down on the ground, that way there are no air bubbles in it. Now it's time to put the decorations on the top of the soap. So I have here a mix of Purple Vibrance Mica and some Eco Glitter from FizzFairy.ca. So I'm going to put a whole bunch on top. All the different glitters I am using, I will leave down below in the description box. And for every Fizz Fairy order placed in the month of March, part of the proceeds seeds will go to the Pollyanna fundraiser. And Pollyanna has her own special glitter mix that will be put on top of the poly bars as well and that is also available to purchase. Now I'm adding some of the Persian Rose Flare Mica mixed with a little bit more glitter. Now I'm adding some Cosmic Carolyn which is the pink color on the inside of the soap all over the place. I'm using a little less of this because I really like the way the purples look, so I don't want to lighten it up too much. And finally, some shimmer gold to match the gold mica line in the middle. Okay, so let's swirl this soap. I have let it sit for a little while. That way it will add some texture whenever I do the swirling. Oh, this looks awesome. It looks very real. this soap. 
myself over here. I love doing the edges. I think the edges always end up looking the prettiest. the tops with rubbing alcohol, add a little more eco glitter, and these bars are done. Here's the top of the soaps up close. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And that glitter is so sparkly. Love it, love, love. And here's the other one up close. I'm trying to angle it so that you're not getting a glare on the camera. I'm gonna wait about 72 hours before cutting these up. Black raspberry vanilla tends to make the soap very runny, so I wanna make good and sure that it's all completely hardened before for unmolding. and beveled the edges of this little soap loaf here. Not for any particular reason than the fact that I'm just kind of OCD about it and I really like it to be nice and even. I've lined it up with my cutter, so I'm going to press down gently. I'm cutting it this way because sometimes the glitter on top makes a really kind of interesting looking mark on the inside when you press down with the cutter. And this way, that doesn't happen. So let me pull one out of the middle here. This is what it looks like on the inside. So we have that nice solid color on the bottom and then the swirly kind of marbled look on the top. And what you probably are noticing is that there's some yellow in the soap, even though I didn't pour any yellow. And that's because that Cosmic Carolyn turns a really funny orange color. And then once it sits and the color oxidizes a little bit, it goes back to pink. I'll show you a little close up. You can see that mica line. It's a lot more visible in real life than it is on the camera. And here's the little orange bits that will eventually turn pink. And of course, the top is so glittery and scrumptious. We have another functional question of the day today. I just have so many things I want to know, like for real from you guys. So, did you enjoy watching me split the batch into loaves using the log splitter from Bud's Wood Shop, which I'll leave down below, by the way. Or is that a part that's kind of like, eh, you could just leave that out. I just want to see you cutting the soap. Ooh, this one looks really cool. I love that. If you'd like to vote in the question of the day, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Would you like to see the slab being split into loaves or do you just want to skip straight to the soap cutting? Okay, but one more. Look at this. That is so awesome. I hope you guys absolutely loved this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hey when you do be sure to click the notification bell so that the little soap fairy comes and alerts you every single time I upload a new video. All of the soaps created in March are going to have a floral theme to them. The black raspberry vanilla being an exception because in three month increments so for April, May, and June, we are going to have two standard bars. One of them is that black raspberry vanilla that we're calling very delicious. And then another one, I'm not gonna tell you the name of because I'm going to make a video. And we're gonna have those two soaps available at royaltysoaps.com for every release for those three months. So if you didn't get one one month, you can get one the next month for three months. And then I will let you guys vote on the next two fragrances to make standards for the next three months. I'm really, really Really hoping that wasn't super confusing. And until next time, I hope you all have an absolutely royal week and bye for now. Meow.